NASA had a secret. Hidden away at one of its top-secret test sites, they kept a World War II German King Tiger tank, and not only kept it, but deployed it. Was it some kind of weird World War II trophy from the early days of US spaceflight, something to remind all those ex-Nazi NASA scientists and engineers of the old regime they served before being put through Operation Paperclip and taken to America? Perhaps, but not. The King Tiger was kept by NASA to take part in a series of tests concerning the space shuttle. In 1993, NASA began a program of upgrading landing gear, and the tyres in particular, using a specially modified Convair 990 aircraft. Each tyre had to withstand the enormous stresses as the shuttle glided down from space to land at up to a staggering 288 miles per hour. If a tyre failed, a shuttle could well have been destroyed. The loads the landing gear and the tyres had to deal with were three times the load placed on a Boeing 747 airliner's tyres. The space shuttle's tyres were made by Michelin and weighed 230 pounds each. They were filled with nitrogen up to 373 psi. If they blew up, they would go off like bombs, NASA reporting that one tyre would detonate with the force of about two and a half sticks of TNT, capable of killing and injuring anyone within 50 feet. The space shuttle tyre tests were, of course, conducted using the modified airliner I mentioned, and they often exploded during these dangerous tests. But many, of course, didn't, and were so dangerous that no NASA personnel could actually approach them on the ground as even light handling following testing could cause detonation. NASA boffins scratch their collective heads trying to work out some way to safely detonate or defuse the tyres that had survived the landing tests. Shooting them was both impractical and dangerous. Gas-filled objects can often deflect even large calibre rounds, and firing weapons at a very expensive aircraft on a busy airfield is not normally advisable. A bomb disposal robot was of course tested, but the contraption was really too valuable to be wrecked in this manner, costing $250,000 and belonging to the US Army. However, a NASA contract employee, Dr. David Carrot, came up with a brilliant idea. Why not use a World War II German King Tiger? But hang on a minute, a King Tiger, or Tiger II to give it its proper name, is a massive 70-ton lump. What possible use would be one of those to NASA, apart from being a very good shelter for when these shuttle tyres blew up? Well, I'm not being completely honest with you. The NASA King Tiger was in fact not German, but Japanese. A 1 16th scale Tamiya model. Using the model King Tiger's lower hull, suspension, tracks and rear plate, NASA engineer Dr. Carrot built a metal upper hull, incorporating a small camera and a DeWalt drill, fitted with a 3 8 inch bit powered by a Black & Decker battery. The camera transmitted an image to a portable black and white TV monitor, and the entire vehicle was radio controlled, and also incorporated a thermal sensor, and it cost less than $3,000 to build, probably the cheapest bit of kit NASA has ever created in its entire existence. The Tamiya King Tiger was rechristened the CR-990 Tire Assault Vehicle, or TAV for short. This tiny armoured vehicle would be driven up to the test aircraft, and then, using the drill, holes would be burrowed through the several layers of the dangerous tyres, often causing detonation. The TAV was in service between February and August 1995, taking part in around 32 tests out of the 155 Space Shuttle tyre tests. This tiny little robot actually survived nine huge explosions before it was honourably retired, doing extremely valuable service towards the upgraded Space Shuttle program. Today the TAV is preserved in a glass case at the NASA Armstrong Flight Research Centre. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.